Good morning, everybody. Cheryl here with Art for Breakfast. And we're going to have some fun today. We're going to work in the Ideas Journal. Remember this? We've got the first page done. And I think I did another page back here somewhere. Oh, we have this one with the thing on the side. And I thought I did one more. There we go. This is the page with fabric and paper on the edge. And then we've got a, a cardboard tag. So I picked out a few pieces that we've made. Some of the things we make are, hi, April. You're the first one here. Welcome. Um, not everything we make is worthy of an ideas journal. It just It's just regular stuff. And so I don't, you know, necessarily want to put it in the ideas journal, but some things like these are kind of different techniques and I thought we would put it in, put them in there. But the first thing I have to do, and I meant to do this before, I have this extra piece. I wanted to put a pocket across the back to make this sturdy. Um, because it's a little bit weak and I had this extra piece of um, this chenille and I wanted to hang tight for one second let me grab an old I want to get a priority mailbox because those are nice and sturdy. And I can use the pieces there we go. Um, they're nice and sturdy and I can make a pocket out of that that will help to oh good morning Mimi. So today we're working in the ideas journal. But before we start, I'm going to make this pocket that I was supposed to have made before, and I never did, um, just using some leftover priority mail. I want to put a pocket across there. Um, To make it sturdy and I'm just using the priority mail I'm gonna stick this piece of chenille on it doesn't quite cover up the whole thing but that's okay and then I picked out some pieces to uh, put in the ideas journal like I was saying, a lot of what we make is just pretty standard. Um, but some things are special techniques that I don't want to forget. Actually, there's probably a few more in my tag box down here. Um, all right. Let's poke this hole out. I'm terrible about not putting the lid on my glues. I need to get some more fabric tack. This one's getting low. There we go. So how are you this morning, April? And Mimi? You guys got your coffee? I've got my coffee. And I've got my cup. I love this new cup. Make today amazing. I saw that it was clean and sitting in the cupboard and I said, oh, that's the cup that I need today. My husband just took off. Um, got your coffee. My husband just took off to go have lunch with one of the guys that um, he used to work with. at his, the job he just left like a month ago. 
So he's going to have lunch with one of those guys, or lunch, breakfast with his friend. And and I am, even if we don't put anything in this pocket, which I hope we will at some point, it's there. All right, let's... You know, I really, for these bigger things like this, what I really need to do is set up my heat gun and just have it ready. But that would be too much pre-planning, and y'all know I'm a pretty wing-it kind of girl. All right, so there's that. We'll let that dry, and maybe we'll put something in it. So the pieces that I pulled out, fishing up a bowl of oatmeal. I love oatmeal, but not in the summertime. I don't, it's, I don't know, not in the summertime. Okay, I've got this little pocket or this little flippy notepad, which I might put something on the front of that. Um, I've got this little piece. Remember when we made these? Then I've got the... Um, Kind of like um, specimen cards, only, oh, finishing up. I thought you said fishing up. <laughs> I can't read this morning. Um, then we've got this where I use the um, texture and the, um, and we could do something with the back of it. And then I've got this, which I wanted to show for the paper piecing that we did. Oops, that's coming out a little bit right there. Um, so those are the things that I'm looking to put in the ideas journal today. I've got more idea type things to go in, but I thought we would start with these. So let's look for a place for this one first. And I don't necessarily just start front to back. That's kind of pretty. That's a, a like a mulberry paper. And we could um, just glue this down. Don't really have to do much on that paper. And then just find a tag to go in it or make a tag to go in it. What do you think about that page? I think I like it. Ah, I'm losing everything. down and I put it down a little towards the bottom so that we have room at the top to put the tag in there we go Now, let's see if I have some of these I didn't make. Let's see if I have a tag that would go in there. One of the ones we made. It's too thick. Huh. But then you won't be able to see it. That's not. I just want to put a generic tag in there. Um, it doesn't have to be anything special let me look at the tags i have a whole box of tags right here behind me um like this one let your dreams take flight and i like this because i use this kind of mesh so that's an idea and then remember that bookmark I used just the other day? Here's one where I tore it down and I just sort of made it a side um, piece there. I'm going to put that down in there. There. Just like that. I love the love. I know. 
I like that paper piecing idea. All right, now this one. You may have to do something on the back of it. So let's put this in here like this. And for the front, that'll just be there. But then, well, I guess we could decorate that later. Maybe we'll come back to this in a little bit. But that goes in there. Now, I've got the little... Yeah... I, I, there's so many things I could do, Mimi. There's so many ideas and um, just so many things. So let's see. I kind of wanted to put this in a little pocket. Not that. Let's see. What do we have here? Here's a long skinny piece. I could just... Nope. That's kind of boring. Well, I can decorate it more. Oh, we did this one too. This is that fold back technique. I love this with the Yeah, I could pull out a lot of my stuff and sell. Should we just put that in there? Should we decorate this up a little bit? Make this a pocket? Here's the other side of that one. This one folded up on the inside. Let's see. Do I have any more of it? I like that idea of folding things up. Um, oh, there's one. The reason I didn't stop at that first one is it was by the time I glued it down, it was going to be really tight. What do you think about that? Right there, and we could put some something behind it we could put oh i hit the camera we could put something down here what do you think about this yeah i actually am am pretty good on the paper stuff because i made all those bookmarks i just got to get them in their little bags and get prices on them um all right so let's let that. Yeah, that fits there. Yeah, that helps make that sturdy. All right, how should we decorate this little pocket? What should we put on the front? Should it be... Um, what should we put there? A mushroom, a butterfly, a flower, um, a bird. I could put, I have some little birds. And I haven't really had any place to use them yet. Look at, there's a little owl. I could put it on with some book page, maybe. There's a little owl. Where are some of my other little ones in here? Oh, that's cute. Little chickadee. Might be a little too little. Oh, look at that. 
I like that a lot. Do you guys like that bird? I think I have found what I want. The owl. I yeah, I wish I could get it get one bigger though. A little bit bigger. Not too big. That one's too big. Let's see if I have one. I printed these at um, various sizes. So some of them are real tiny and then some not so tiny and some are really big. I don't see another owl. We can use that one. We'll have to layer it up or build it up some. Okay, we will take that owl. Yeah, it does give a good pop of color. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. I'm going to go back with this one. Um, now, I need to get my, <laughs> wherever I might have put it, I need to get my craft knife and cut out that little white space in there. I don't cut those out until I actually use them because ooh, I have some of that left too. Um, because then they get all bent and ugly. And let's see, what do I have for a craft knife over here? I know I've got several of them. There's one. All right, the little tip's broken off it, but I think it'll still work. And we'll just cut that little bit out. If I can get it, these little tiny pieces, when you cut them out, they're hard. Yeah, I tore his leg. You know what I'm going to do? Instead of that, I'm just going to kind of color it in brown. I'm going to, I'm just going to shade it because those pieces are just too little and after all this journal is just for me yeah that's what I'm thinking just to stress it sometimes if I have my good knife and I don't know where it is then I can usually cut those out those little pieces but all right so let's see what shall we put put him on some book text maybe oh my next door neighbor I don't have them down here so I can't use it use any of them but my next door neighbor she gave me a pile of books and they're old like er, late 1800s early 1900s I took her over some lemon zucchini bread and she sent me home with a bag full of old books it was a pretty cool trade she says every time you come over i'll send you home with books i said is that your way of telling me you want more sweet treats <laughs> she said yeah kind of okay here are all my books i got a whole bunch of them right here hang on let me grab a book Okay, here is the Webster's New Student Dictionary. I wonder if I have bird in here. I'm sure I haven't used it. B-I-D, Big Bill. Let's 
Oh, and it's torn, wouldn't you know? That's all right. Um, we'll just take a piece out. could put it sideways. I like that actually. Let's do some inking. All right, where'd it go? Oh, Lordy, there it is. I knew I just had it out here. All right, let's ink this baby up. this. Yes, I like it. Where is my glue stick? Oh my gosh. And you see how many times I do it? One, it's because my desk is, desk is a wreck. But two, I'm just absent-minded. Let's see, what way did I say we wanted to put that on there now? I'm just really, 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 I guess my mind gets going in too many directions. And I forget, you know, like I just set it down because I'm already on to thinking about the next thing. And then I don't remember. And I just need to slow down a little bit. That's what I need to do. I don't want to over decorate these pages because the purpose is, um, you know, the idea. There, what do you think about that? I don't want to put a word on here because I have all these words up here. I might put a little. I don't know, flower or something else on there. But I think that's okay, just the way it is, actually. What do you think? How about that? For And I don't think I need to do anything up here. If I want to do it later, I certainly can. But I don't think I need to. Yeah, I think... Uh... Oh, me too, Mimi. And you know what's even worse is that I know sometimes you guys can see it and you're probably screaming at me. Look up, look up. And I just don't see it. Okay. There. So we have this little notepad in our ideas journal on a nice little page. All right. Let's work on this next. And I think on this one, well, I got a mushroom on that. Um. Well, they don't have to go together. I was thinking a mushroom would look really good on this. And those two pieces don't have to go right next to each other. Because I've got some nice little mushroom stickers. I've got that one. See, look at that. Isn't that cute? Leave it the way it is. I agree. Ooh. That's simple. Just a little pine cone. Let me cut around this a little bit and get rid of some. Ouch. I just poked myself. Get rid of some of the 
white space. And then, and then I think what I can do, and what I should have done before I started cutting it out, um, sometimes I will put it on a piece of like coffee dyed paper first, because these washi stickers tend to be transparent. Hey, May. Oh, I didn't bring them down. I was going to bring down the little pieces that I was fussy cutting when I was on you. They were really cute little teacups. So a while back on this Art Before Breakfast, we made an ideas journal together because I wanted to have a journal for keeping ideas. And so today I thought that I would take some of the things that we've made and just do pages in the idea ideas journal and get some things into that because that's the whole point of it but see i think that will fade if i put that just on there i don't think it will show up so what i'm gonna do that means i'm gonna have to cut it again but that's okay it was a good idea what was a good idea putting this on a piece of paper. Yeah, I do that a lot because I just don't, I don't want the sticker to fade. And if it's on a dark background, Queen Bee, happy Sunday. Oh yeah, to add to the ideas journal, yeah. Yeah, I needed to do that. I mean, went to all that effort to make it. I might as well use it. Oops, I got that right over a little bit. So we are taking some previous projects and adding them to the ideas journal. I'll show you guys in a minute the one that... I remember last time you were here, Queen Bee, we had a... Talk about Ireland and my adventures in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, sometimes my fingers do that. Sometimes my tongue gets all twisted up. I just blame it on getting old. Everything I blame on getting old. If I can't explain it, then it's because I'm getting old. And you know what kills me about that is that, well, my mind is getting old too. I'm getting forgetful and things like that. But as far as, you know, being lucid, I don't have memory. My gosh, I shouldn't say I don't have memory loss. <laughs> I do forget things, but you guys know what I mean. I'm pretty lucid. I'm pretty with it. I can function and I'm just getting old. My husband and I talk about that all the time. We're getting old. Not that we stress about it, but we notice it. All right. Now that looks kind of bare on there like that so what i'm gonna do is find a little piece of something something that i have laying around not that not that i just got to find a little piece of something something to put this on Not really that, because it blends too much. I need a darker, maybe this mushroom wasn't the best idea. Um, what am I looking for? I'm just kind of looking through my fabrics down here on the ground.
This is a real autumny fabric. Cheryl. Have you guys been watching Cheryl's videos? She did a cute one the other day on using the Tim Holtz frames. It was really cute. So maybe I need to put a flower on here instead or actually go back to the mushroom idea. Because I don't think this little pine cone is cutting it. There's not enough color contrast. I need something colorful. So maybe mushrooms aren't the right thing. Maybe we need a bright floral something. Yeah, I could put that on there like that, and then it would cover up the... Yeah, I don't like that either. I'm not liking what I'm seeing, guys. I do like this piece of fabric, though. A butterfly, okay. <laughs> you saw it. I have some of those frames. And I think we did something with them on one of these art before breakfast. Okay. If I put that on there, I hate trying to tear these little tiny strips of fabric because they never tear right. Oh, there we go. All right, let's put that down in the middle, and then I agree, maybe a butterfly. Maybe instead of a sticker, I could use one of my paper butterflies. Oh, these things are falling out all over the place. And I wouldn't have the white around the edge. And I just need a little one. How about that if I cut out the antenna? Or I may not even need to put the fabric under it. I may just need the... No, I like the fabric. What about that one? Is that the right color? Does that look good? <laughs> it has color. Yep. It does. And I don't know if I have another one in here that's small enough. Yeah, that one looks good. I agree. So here's a blue one, but I think this one might be too big and too dark. Yeah, I don't like that one. All right, let's just go with this. Let me cut out the little antennae. Because like I said, I usually leave those to the very last minute. So they don't get torn off or bent before I'm ready to use them. All right, let's put this down. If it goes this way. All right, there's that, and then that's going to go right in the middle, and I haven't inked him up. Hello, dear friends. Hi. Hey, 
Thanks for joining us. I know Sundays are tougher for you. I'm just working on some of the pieces that we made, putting them in a in the ideas journal. I'll show you in a minute the one we just did, and then I'm just about to finish this one too. And we'll have a couple of pieces in there. Well, we got to figure out where we're going to put this. Might need to add a pocket. You see, those antennae are pretty little. And then I have those staples up there. And you know, one of the things I noticed in Big Mama's journal that I got from her was she just used little pieces of things. Like nothing big, just... No, nope, don't want the same thing. I'm just going to put a little tiny piece of... lace up here to cover up the staples. <laughs> Big Mama, I haven't worn makeup and I don't even have any makeup, even if I wanted to wear it. I Mine all got expired and was, you know, years old and I threw it all out. I don't even own any makeup. And I haven't worn it for years. And one thing I have found is that um, my skin adapted to that. You know, it. Um, so there, what do you think of that? And then we have the flip up. So just a little scrappy bit of. Ooh, I like that too. I think I might add that. Hey, Penny. So, Penny, today I'm just... Um, I don't even want to cut that down a little bit. I'm just um, putting things in the idea journal, things that we've already made. I may be enhancing them a little and adding to them, but... We're just putting... There. All right. Huh. Aw. All right. Back to the ideas journal now. Now I think it needs just a little something on the top there because I got two straight pieces. And I have an idea, but I'll come back to it later. All right. You're beautiful. I know you are. And my face adapted. Once it got more sun, it wasn't quite as pale and pasty. And it just, I don't know, it just worked out. And I just don't wear makeup. I asked my husband, I said, do, do I look like bad, like real you know, pale and pasty, and he said, no, not at all. So, like, he's gotten used to it, so, you know what, I'll be right back, I'm going to get my other box, because we made some pocket envelopes, uh, or pockets, and I want to see if I have one of those I can use. I already see something that I like. Look at this little one. I don't think we made this together, but look at that. That goes really well, doesn't it? That goes really well. I think I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to grab that one. 
that actually is one of the um, your creative studio business cards well here are the pockets back here oh this is what i wanted to put on this is a pocket and i wanted to put one of those in the idea journal um But I think I'm just going to go with this before I go. Now that goes up and down. Okay, let's just do that. Now, what page shall we put it on? Um, needs to be a small one of the smaller pages because it's such a small piece. Remember when we made this? Well, there's a small one, but that's too small. That's too small. If I can find the other side of that index card, it should be about the right size. Hmm. Let's go back to the front. There. Look at that. Doesn't that go nice? And I don't think we have to put anything else on the page. I can't do more than four pages. My brain shuts down. You just got to tell that brain to stay engaged. I um, have a very short attention span, May, and I will say that other than, you know, like what I'm working on here, whether it's jewelry or um, whatever it happens to be, I can only work so long on one thing and then I have to get up and do something else. Like if I'm working on jewelry, I'll get up and come over here and work on some paper stuff or... Um, no overthinking today not allowed I know I just needed to find the right size yeah that's not glued down all the way yeah or that's not set yet so let's let that set and then we can start looking at the next thing so we have this you remember these that we made out of envelopes wasn't that a fun so let's find right there. And then we could do some stenciling. Here's a pink piece of mulberry paper. Eh. That pink mulberry paper, I think that came from you, May. Oh, I put this one in here, too. So I have put some things in here. I don't know. What do you guys think? A plain mulberry paper? Yes. Okay. The pink one? I've got a pink one, and then I think I've got another one back here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I've got the pink one. And then I've got sort of the brown one. That kind of goes with the butterfly. But the pink goes with the pink. So what do you think? The pink mulberry paper or the neutral? You guys tell me. Which one do you like? Oh, yeah. I didn't get it from May. I'm sorry. I got it from... Um, I think I said... I got this from you, May. It was from um, uh, Shelly, Shelly W. Jots and Junk. Okay, the neutral. And so I'm going to make this a double pocket. I'm going to um, do this down just on three corners so that we've got an extra pocket there. 
Oh, I got, oh, I got two pinks and a natural. So I'm going to go back to the pink because I had two people say pink. Good morning, Lori B. We're working in the um, ideas journal today, taking some of the things that I've made and putting them on pages in the ideas journal. I can't wait till this thing is finished. You see how big it is? It's going to take me forever to make enough stuff to go in this. But that's okay. I have forever. All right, Big Mama. Have a great day. I hope the service this morning is good. I'm sure they're all good. But if you go and the preacher talks about ideas and embracing new ideas, you know that He's thinking of us. Okay, so now I need something to put in there, and we can put something there, but I don't necessarily need to fill them up right now. Let's look at let's look at the journal cards that I've made with you guys, because maybe there will be something in here. that works I've got that with a little butterfly it's not the same colors but and I think I don't know if this will go in here. This is too wide. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and find something. I've got to have something in here. I've got this one. I don't think we made this together, but this says delightful. What do you think about those two? I'm not sure that I like the one in the back. All right, well, I know we made this one together. Oh, there we go, a guest check. How about that? How about that? So I made this one made this guest check. The Waltons. All right, what do you guys think about this? It's actually floating down on the page. I need to bring it back up. I may need to reinforce the fold in that mulberry paper. All right, there we go on the pink. Everybody love it? All right, this may turn out to be a journal that I sell. Um, all right, next up is this little piece, this little dangle a purple dangle and I don't need to really um, just need a fairly sturdy page to put it on oh that was sticking but I think we can put this in now oh there we go that's cute. Um, I 
That's another piece of mulberry paper. Huh, I'm looking for something a little bit sturdy that I can pin this purple dangle onto. That's sturdy. Does that go on there? With the purple and the kind of rusty color? Does that work? You guys tell me, please. Does that work? And I thought, yeah, I did. Oh, that would have been pretty on there. But yeah, I think it does too. I think it looks okay. So let's put an eyelet in up here at the corner. And then we can, um, you know, put something else on it later. This is going to be a very eclectic um, journal with all the different ideas, but it's going to be fun. Okay, where are my eyelids? There they are. There's some silver ones. not the color I used for oh there we go there's my other ones see I use like a bronze um, bulb pen don't use many of these black ones so I think I want to put one of those just to use it up Come on. Now we'll see if we can do this without wrinkling the page. Sometimes these things crumble under. <laughs> I have to. You're welcome here anytime, Queen Bee. Our door here is always open. All right, now. There we go. There we go. I didn't make it real flat on the back. Let me press one more time. I don't know if that'll pull out or not, but if it does, we'll fix it. All right, and then let's put this up here like this. There we go. How's that? I like it. I like it a lot. All right, now we've got this great big old thing. You know, I've got some envelopes in here. I could just put this in an envelope, not that one. Let's see. Let's see what I got in here. Of course, this would be kind of cool, too. Nah, too busy. Too busy. You know, I've got all of these 
uh, big envelopes in here, I could... Where did it go? Where is the other side of that envelope? Or bag. I guess it's a bag, not an envelope. I could just put it in here for now. And I could take that bag out and kind of stitch it up the middle and make two little sides to it. We already did one of those pages today. Oh, there we go. How about right there for now? And then we can decorate the front of this. And then it's a... Uh... Thanks, ladies, for always making me feel better. Got bad news Friday. Oh. Oh. Well... I know there's nothing we can probably say to make it better. I just am sad that I'll leave that in there for right now. A new chapter of your life is all. Focus on your crafting and your family and I know it's hard. What if we put that up there with a pin, one of those little safety pins, not safety pins, paper clips. I've got them right here. That might be a little too matchy-matchy, though. I don't think I want it there. Of course, I could be putting some... Um, you know, stenciling down and other things. I just, ooh, we could put that bee in here amongst the trees. What do you think about that? Remember the good things. Yep. You know, and maybe you could go on to do some patient counseling or, you know, something like that. All right, we are right about at an hour, so I think I'm going to wrap this up. Let's flip through the ideas journal and see what all we put in here. All right, we had the ideas pocket with that guy, and this was the water embossing. And then we had this little pocket with, and this idea was using the Your Creative Studio business cards. So this is a good idea if you have business cards. They make great size little pockets. And then we have the little shaped notepad. Then we have the love bag with a tag in it. So this was paper piecing. Then we have our little Our little dangle there. Um, this piece I put in later. You remember these? These were the little hanging um, little hanging tags that we built pockets for. This was the little pocket built like a shirt, and then a couple of little tags. The guest check. It really is, isn't it? I think it's going to be a gorgeous journal when we get it all done. And maybe I'll sell it. And then this is the, um, you know, folding the paper back around an image. 
This one is the envelope with the circle. Oh, this also is where I, you remember when I, I glued down some book page and then ripped it up to give just a little bit of book page on there. Um, so we've got that. This is the, um, and I have a belly band. I can put something in there. Um, this is the texture paste and the pan pastels. And then this was the journal page with paper and fabric on the edge. And then the um, cardboard tag. I need to make some great big things to put in here. Uh... A lot of empty pages in here, girls. Oh, and this was the cluster down the side of the page. Did some fabric, some paper, a little metal charm. Towards the back, we have, I know we've got more back here. Oh, there's our little pocket with the waterfall notebook and the bird on the pocket. Can y'all see that? I'm out of, sh I'm out of uh, frame here, I think. And then we just put this little guy in here. Need to decorate the front of that, but we will. Or I will. And then we have this pocket that we added. What did we put on that? Oh, no, we ended up doing it on the pink. So that's it. Those are all of the current um, ideas. Yes, I was a home health geriatric nurse. Oh. You can, if you're really, really sad about not working... I am very much getting to the geriatric stage. You can hop on a plane and come and take care of me anytime, Cheryl. Thank you. I'm really pleased with how this is turning out and the fun stuff we're putting in it. So over time, we'll just keep adding. I've got more things still that I could put in that we've made, but we'll just keep adding and making this our own oh and i for you guys who came a little bit later i added the little pocket in the back that i hadn't done before and i think what i'm going to do is put a little twine around there to cover up that cardboard but i i may not even use that as a pocket i just this page had a little bend in it and i wanted to give it some support all right Done deal on my way. Oh, man, anytime, anytime you want to get away. We've got a room. And I could use some care. Shall you get those zucchini brownies? Oh, man. Yeah, you would. All right, ladies. Um, we're right at an hour, so I'm going to end here thank you so much for joining me on this this was fun just taking some of our pieces and putting it in the journal and i'm starting to like this journal and like i said i haven't sewn anything in yet because i want to be able to take the pages out and sew on them if i want or you know whatever so all right everybody have a wonderful day and um Blessings to you all. You know I love you all. And I'll see you tomorrow if you're around. Bye. Oh, give me a thumbs up, please.